Here at Urban Garage we're known for aftermarket fabrication, uh, off-road, um, and custom builds. Uh, we do a lot of custom CNC plasma cutting, so we can basically make anything that you want um, or need. This year I'm going to be bringing the, our 99 F350, uh, it's our search and rescue truck. Um, and obviously we're going to be using it, you know. We're not going to be like all the rest of the other trucks out there that are just for show and no go, but we're actually going to be using it. And I'm pretty sure we'll be using it before the show too. My family's been evacuated from two different fires in this area. Um, and both times we didn't really have anywhere to go. That's why I decided to join and volunteer to be a search and rescue member is because I wanted to go out there and I want to help as many people as I can because they were there two times for me and I needed, I feel like I need to go and be there for somebody else. With this truck, I, I want, obviously we need to make it beefy and strong and tough. So, you know, it's got to handle a lot of uh, different terrain. It's got to be able to get us through. Yeah, I think my truck is honestly going to stand out period just from how massive it is for one how much stuff is gonna be put into this thing. I mean, you'll be able to walk past it, turn around and see something new on it. Like there's gonna be so much stuff put into this vehicle and it's all gonna be used. And I think that's cool because it's just gonna be a lot of fun stuff to play with. The overall look of this, uh, we're gonna be bedlining the entire truck. Um, it's gonna be desert tan. Obviously we have our rooftop tent up there. You know, I don't know how long I'm gonna be out there for, but I do like to have a place to sleep if I had to. This will shoot you out a chunk of 10 by 10 light about like 100 yards away. So it's really nice and they're wireless so you can, I can still sit inside the cab and I can try to find somebody without having to get out. Um, I'm doing rubber floors in here because there was carpet in here and I just didn't think that jumping in and out with muddy feet and such was going to be a great idea. It's just a, it's a, it's a tablet but the cool part is you can pull it out, take it out with you, go walk around with it if you drop it. It's fine. Communication is obviously a big key in it, so that's the hard part is that you got to be, you got to have the same cool stuff that everybody else has so you can communicate with them at the same time. This is our fabrication shop, and uh, right now I'm going to have Willie cut out some parts uh, for the SEMA truck, and then that way you guys can take a look and see how it does. I wanted to, to enter SEMA's Battle of the Builders because I want to, I always want to push myself. I always want to try to, you know, compete and make myself, you know, push a little bit harder. Um, you know, I've, I've won SEMA's 35 under 35 award and that took me to a whole nother level. Now I want to get in and I want to do, you know, SEMA's Battle of the Builders and I want to see what I can do there. So I just want to keep pushing and just keep going further in the industry.